we were flying, we both went flying into the woods sideways, sideways which was all quite hairy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a formation drift team, we were just absolutely on it, both drifting into the woods together. And and yeah, so we were off. basically dogfighting him all the way to the rocks. went wrong on the rocks. For it us, did rather, yeah. yeah. We were absolutely smoking there. I mean, Pierre's always very, very fast. And uh, so we knew that uh, we had to be quick, you know, quick to get past him. And to pass him so early, early on the course was awesome. Um, as I say, he um, it's a low high gear change. So we go from low box to high box. Just as we grab uh, low to high, he just had a little bit more momentum coming off of the corner and he just managed to pip us into the woods. Um, when we Once we actually got to the um, uh, once we actually got to the rocks, then uh, we had a game plan. It's basically the big rocks, there's not a lot we can do about that. We just got to get over them. Um, they're just something that are horrible, basically. So we had to get over those rocks as fast as possible, as safely as possible. But we know we're faster on the smaller rocks than Pierre. We've seen that time and time again this weekend that we can actually beat him on the slightly smaller rocks. Just, I don't know, we've just got a little bit more flow than perhaps he has in that area. Um, so the game plan was get out the big rocks, get to the small rocks, and then try to sneak a line. Um, didn't get to the small rocks though. Um, I got a bit exuberant coming up over the big ones and uh, dropped down. Caught a radius arm, snapped it in half. Uh, Mark here, he did his hero bit. Got the radius arm off and uh, he sprinted off up here. And uh, Matt Cook at Devon 4x4, they're doing a superb job this weekend. Uh, they're basically offering uh, free workshop services. So you need anything welded, you need anything cut, you need anything sorted, and they fix pretty much every car on the event, haven't they? Everything's on and, the uh, So they, those guys have uh, welded our arm back together. Um, Mark's then run back down to where we are. Thankfully, it's only a few miles. Um, only got two. Back, yeah, only two or something, which is lucky. Uh, got back down there, we bolted it back in, and then set about the task of overtaking the cars that are in front of us. Shannon Campbell from the USA. This terrain is kind of like our East Coast on, in America. The terrain uh, there's there's a lot more winching involved here. Like we we do stuff that's, I mean, a lot of guys winch still, but most of the stuff over there I can usually drive. I don't have to winch. I got a one seat car, but. You know, we always try not to winch, try to make the car make it. Sometimes you got to winch to keep from breaking the car, though. So that's one of the things I learned here today is watching all these guys. Uh, you know, you need a good winch, and uh, we're going to have to speed ours up a little bit to keep up with these guys. they got some pretty custom stuff, you know. I mean, I've got a pretty good winch that works good for me at home, but if, if we're going to have a winch race, we're going to have to step it up. 